Hey guys, it's Jordi and welcome to my third YouTube video with Sitting Pretty. I'm going to be creating this beautiful Blake Lively inspired ponytail for you all, so make sure you keep watching. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to be using my fine halo hair extensions and I've actually just unclipped the wire because we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. You don't have to worry about curling your extensions just yet because we're going to be doing that when we put all of the hair up together. To start off with, you're going to need three or four bobby pins and what you're going to do is you're going to actually thread them through the lace if you can see the lace just there you're going to grab your long bobby pin and anchor it just thread it through on one side so it's like that on the other side and you're going to do that on either end and then you're going to do two around the middle points now when you finish it should look something like this all four bobby pins should be just anchored in the lace. What we're going to be doing is creating an anchor point at the base of your head. You want to kind of make a small circle around the crown of your head, like so. Doesn't have to be perfect either. And just secure it with one. You want this to be quite tight and you want it to be quite high, like this. Because that's our base. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to grab these bobby pins just here and you're going to put one of them in the front like so you're basically going to wrap the extension piece around the hair next anchor point you're going to thread through and in like that and just keep winding the extension piece around your ponytail you want to make sure that these bobby pins are underneath the elastic just so they have some security so now that the base of the ponytail is done you want to create some texture so i've got my sea salt spray and I've also got my texture as in spray. Um, just to create a little bit of body before we put the ponytail up. Grab your sea salt spray. And just kind of in the roots. And massage that in. And you want to do the same with your texturizing body spray. And just grab pieces. So now that we've created some really beautiful texture in our hair, we're going to flip our head over grab all your hair, put it up into a ponytail and secure it with a hair tie. Okay, so now that you've got your hair up in a ponytail, you can already see how beautiful and thick that is, but we haven't there yet because we still need to curl it. So you want to grab this comb and you just want to grab pieces like this underneath here and just kind of pull out that tension. Also a really good tip is if you do have a lot of lumps and bumps, grab the end of that comb and run through the top layer, pull a little bit and slide back. That'll create that really beautiful soft even finish and get rid of all of those bumps. When you pull the top and pull the bottom bits, try and make sure you get that anchor point that we started off with. You just pull either side and that will make for a really, really perky ponytail, which is really what you want. I like to make sure those little bits on the side are kind of out as well. Not too many, but just softens up the edges of your look. Okay, and we're almost there. Okay, so now we're going to curl our ponytail. So just halve your ponytail and then wind this up and pop it aside for later. And we're just going to focus on this bit for now. When curling my hair, I prefer to use a thicker barrel. The thicker barrel, the better, I think, only because I find that it's a softer wave, it's more beachy, it's more natural. So you just want to grab small bits, starting off at the bottom, I find is easiest. And just start at the back and curling towards that. Leave these small bits at the end so it looks a little bit more natural. Um, I just find that's a really nice tip. It doesn't look so like ringletty at the end, it doesn't leave a short, blunt into your ponytail. Alright, now for the second side. And that's that 
that, okay? So I've curled all of that ponytail. Let's brush it out a little bit. It creates that really beautiful soft wave we're right after. And you can always go back and grab these smaller bits at the top and direction them specifically towards where you want them to go. So, you know, make them a bit more higher and then curling the ends. This will create more volume at the top, you can kind of see it there. And what you want to do is grab your seat salt spray again and just kind of spray your ponytail and piece it all together, kind of scrunch it up like this. It'll just create that really nice beachy look. And then again with your texturizing tray, grab half of your ponytail, split it into two, just spray the top. And grab your comb, slightly back comb a little bit. So one last tip, you don't have to do this um, if you don't want to, but I like to hide my elastic. I'm going to be grabbing a small piece like so from underneath my ponytail and using a texture spray, just spray that piece quite heavily with product and smooth it all out. And what you want to do is you want to wrap it around your elastic band like so. Try and secure this underneath the ponytail so you don't see it. Okay, so yeah, this is the final look. Um, my messy ponytail uh, with the halo hair extensions and not using the wire. Adding a couple of bobby pins into the lace of the extensions and popping it in. I just think it's such a nice look for summer. Now, I love creating these videos for you guys, showing you the ins and outs of how I use my extensions. Um, and I really hope you guys are loving it too. So make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and comment any questions below because we'd love to hear from you. Now, also, we love seeing what you guys get up to. So if you do recreate this look, please make sure you tag Sitting Pretty and I. We love to see how you guys use your extensions.